Just three years ago, ChatGPT had just launched. ChatGPT says artificial intelligence will reshape society as we know. The first AI-generated videos appeared. And the memes. Terrible. Like, please stop posting this terrible. And now? It's 2025. ChatGPT isn't just some chatbot anymore. It's one of the most important tools in the world. AI now creates full cinematic videos with VO3. Do you think we are in VO3? If you cannot tell, does it matter? And the memes? They're better than most human-made ones now. You probably laughed at one this morning without even realizing it was AI generated. So let me ask, why aren't you learning AI yet? AI integration into business processes today is one of the most powerful drivers of transformation for companies around the world, especially in 2025. AI helps increase efficiency, speed up decision-making, improve customer engagement, and create competitive advantages. The main areas where AI is being used, data analysis and decision-making, automation of routine tasks, personalization, marketing, finance, and manufacturing. For example, the oil and gas company Shell employs AI-driven predictive analytics to optimize drilling site selection. Shell analyzes massive amounts of data from sensors on its drilling equipment to predict potential failures or maintenance needs and allocate resources more effectively. In healthcare, IBM's Watson uses AI to analyze patient data and medical literature to provide doctors with evidence-based treatment options and help them choose the most effective cancer treatments. No matter what industry you're in, AI can assist in making highly complex decisions in today's fast-moving world. But what about the risks? According to research, the main risks are considered to be the risk of confidential data leaks, lack of transparency, algorithmic bias, regulations, AI is a rapidly developing field, and laws are still catching up. There's also a major fear that AI will eliminate the middle class and create a huge gap between the rich and the poor. Big tech companies like Meta, Google, and Amazon have been laying off a staggering amount of workers, tens of thousands of people. The problem is that, with the elimination of these jobs, the gap between the rich and the poor is growing increasingly wider. The digital revolution creates enormous wealth for those with the skills and preparation to take advantage. But it eliminates what economists call middle skill jobs. But should we really be afraid of AI? Many people don't fully understand what it is. They believe AI will somehow replace humans, but it won't. AI is just a tool that processes large databases, databases that we humans created. First and foremost, AI is a tool. Without humans, it's useless. We are facing major changes ahead, and we need to start preparing for them now. Artificial intelligence got the worst marketing campaign. <laughs> I think if we had called it something other than artificial intelligence, we might feel a lot differently about it. The, the title artificial intelligence makes it feel like it's replacing humans. In reality, it's just using all that big data that we were collecting for the last 10 or 20 years. PwC estimates that by the mid-2030s, up to 30% of jobs could be automated, with slightly more men being affected in the long term as autonomous vehicles and machines take over many manual tasks where men currently hold more jobs. In the first and second waves, women may be at greater risk due to their higher representation in clerical and administrative roles. Sounds scary, but let's remember, the financial crisis caused by the mortgage market crash led to a sharp increase in layoffs. Consulting firm Challenger Gray and Christmas reported that in 2009, job cuts in the ICT sector rose by 74.2% compared to 2007. Many companies faced challenges and were forced to downsize. And that was long before AI. According to the McKinsey Global Institute, by 2055, about half of human work activities could be performed by machines with the same or even higher efficiency. This level of automation could arrive sooner or later. It all depends on factors like AI development and the global economic climate. It's hard to say if this is good or bad, but one thing is clear, more automated jobs will reduce people's ability to feed themselves and their families, says McKinsey analyst Michael Wright. 
Robots disrupt the system that supports our infrastructure. They don't pay property taxes. They don't help fund public schools. Microsoft founder Bill Gates once suggested solving this problem by introducing a robot labor tax. Michael Wright supports this idea. McKinsey researchers also note that AI helps companies improve outcomes by reducing errors, increasing quality and speed, and achieving results that humans alone couldn't. Automation is also expected to boost productivity by 0.81.4% annually over decades, driving economic growth and helping offset the decline in the working age population in many countries. All these discussions only prove one thing, AI development is moving fast and isn't planning to stop. So, if back in 2022 you thought this was just a passing trend that would soon be forgotten, now it's time to pull yourself together and start understanding it. AI is already in every area. When you talk to Siri or Alexa, when you watch YouTube videos recommended by AI, when you prepare a report for your boss. As a species, we've always strived for progress. From the moment we stepped onto land, climbed down from the trees, and started using sticks, we tamed horses and domesticated animals. We built wonders of the world and created amazing inventions. We reached the Industrial Revolution. We got off horses and started driving cars. We conquered the skies and started flying. There were always people who were afraid, who demanded progress to stop, but that's impossible. We moved on, went into space, landed on the moon, created the internet, and connected the entire world with one global network. And now, we stand on the threshold of another major invention, one that will impact our lives. Now, we have just one question left. Why didn't you make it? Make it now.